Hey, what's going on, sports world? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Game podcast. And first off, I want to say thank you for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. This is the very first video of the State of the Game podcast. And I thought it would be fitting um, that the first video focuses on Kobe Bryant. Now, I mean, we're about 29, 30 hours removed from the tragedy that took place um, the helicopter crash that took the life of the NBA legend, Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, as well as seven other passengers aboard the helicopter. And people are still trying to pick up the pieces and still trying to figure out how could this possibly happen to a legend. And, and a lot of people still don't believe it. People are just waiting for, you know, somebody to come up and just say, man, we, we tricked y'all. You know, we tricked the world. We wanted to pull this trick on y'all. Everybody's waiting for that, but unfortunately, it's, it's not going to happen. We lost the icon. And um, the NBA um, has decided to cancel the Los Angeles Lakers versus Los Angeles Clippers game that will take place on Tuesday night. Um, first off, I want to say I applaud the NBA. Um, that shows the class organization that they are. Um, you know, the NBA for a long time has been the standard of what class is supposed to be when it comes to sports. You know, as much as I love football, I love the NFL, much love to it, man. I'm a diehard sports fan, love watching football, but they can learn a lot from the NBA. Um, what Adam Silva has done, you know, just shows that Kobe Bryant meant so much to the NBA. And you have a lot of guys, of course, who play for the Lakers, the team that Kobe played for for over 20 years. And these guys aren't mentally ready to go out there and play. And then you got the Clippers, even though they were the rivals and um, they were also in the building of the Staples Center. I mean, you got guys on the team like Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, guys that grew up in the area. You know, they're not mentally, um, you know, ready to go out here and perform. You know, I can only imagine what somebody like LeBron James is thinking right now. I mean, a couple of days ago, you passed Kobe Bryant on an all-time scoring list. And the very last tweet that Kobe Bryant ever sent out while he was alive had something to do with you. Um, you've seen the footage of LeBron James getting off the plane. He had a tissue in his hand, wiping the tears from his eyes. And you see a, a person coming up to him, giving him a big, long embrace. I mean, I feel so bad for the man. I mean, I know how much... Kobe Bryant meant to LeBron James. I mean, it was almost like the passing of the torch. Once Kobe Bryant finally retired, it was like it was LeBron James turning to carry the torch and carry the NBA. I mean, nobody really thinking about basketball, man. You know, I thought for a fact they were going to cancel some of the games on Sunday night, but that didn't happen. You had a lot of guys that were, you know, paying tribute. I mean, even you even had some guys that was out there playing saying, man, I wasn't even thinking about basketball, man. It's just some things in life bigger than that but I, I do want to once again applaud the nba for doing the right thing um I didn't, I didn't feel like this game needed to be played i understand what this game meant i mean the last two times they played it was one of the highest rated games the nba has had in quite some time i understand that these two teams are, are leading the western conference a lot of people think that they're on a collision course to the western conference finals and i know a lot of people are looking forward to that but there's some things in life bigger than basketball. And honestly, man, Kobe Bryant was such a larger-than-life figure. I think we all can understand that. Um, you know, a lot of people are making an argument. Uh, well, not a lot of people, but I heard someone say this, that um, Kobe Bryant needs to be the new logo. They need to remove Jerry West and let Kobe Bryant become the new logo. Now, I don't know about all that. You know, I don't. But I can understand why somebody would feel that way. You know, growing up, I, I was born and raised in New Orleans. I'm 33 years old. And, you know, I watched Kobe Bryant, man, my whole entire life. You know, I remember being a kid watching him on television, you know, go up against some of the best basketball players that ever played the game. People like Michael Jordan, people like Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, um, you know, on a team with Shaq. And, I mean, I seen this guy go out here and perform at a high level each and every night, man, and just – gave us lasting memories of, you know, going out there and giving it your all. And we all know about the Mamba mentality that has been talked about, uh, you know, since the demise of Kobe Bryant. Um, but, you know, it just don't seem real, man. You know, 
I mean, he just left us amazing memories, man. As of right now, um, the making of this uh, video, um, they're playing his final game where he scored 60 points. They're playing that on ESPN right now. I mean, he is truly going to be missed. Um, you know, he touched so many people. And, um, you know, honestly, I can completely understand the NBA. I just once again want to applaud them for doing the right thing. A very classy move by the NBA. And, um, you know, I'm, my prayers go out once again to his family and, you know, his wife, his, his daughters and, you know, man, just everybody that was affected by this tragedy. I mean, he will be missed. But this has been the State of the Game podcast. Um, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search State of the Game. And also please follow the State of the Game on Facebook, facebook.com, search State of the Game. Till next time, all I got to say is... Peace.